Coming to another example on guarantee of profits. In this question, it is given that X and Y are partners in the ratio of 7 is to 3. Their capitals were 5 lakh and 3 lakh respectively. According to the partnership deed, interest on capital is to be allowed at 10% per annum. Also, Y has been guaranteed a minimum profits of rupees 1,50,000 by X after interest on capital. That means guarantee is on profits left over after providing interest on capital. Net profit of the firm for the year amounted to 4,80,000. Show PL appropriation account. So now, students, the first entry would be by profit and loss account. This is net profit and in this case it is given to be 4,80,000. Now interest on capital would be provided. Capitals are 5 lakh and 3 lakh for X and Y respectively and interest is to be allowed at 10% per annum. So we will have 2 interest on capital. for x and for y for x it is 10 percent of 5 lakh which comes to 50,000 for y it comes to 10 percent of 3 lakh which is 30,000 now students 80,000 has been provided by way of interest on capital there is no other thing as salary or commission etc so we will directly move to division of profits out of 4,80,000, we will deduct 80,000 and we will get profits. This profits would be transferred to partner's capital account profit for X and for Y. Now students, the total profit that should be divided is 4,80,000 minus 80,000 that is appearing on the debit side 480 minus this is 4 lakhs 4 lakh has to be divided and the total would be 480 but how this would be divided and what would be the effect of guarantee let us understand it now 4 lakh would be divided in the ratio of 7 is to 3 that is the profit sharing ratio that means X will get 2,80,000. We can calculate it as 4 lakh into 7 by 10. For Y, it would be 4 lakh into 3 by 10. It would be 1 lakh 20,000. Now, students, I will just erase this as it was for just calculation purposes. Coming to Y only, Y has been guaranteed a minimum sum of rupees 1,50,000 but here Y is actually getting only rupees 1,20,000 that means there is a deficiency of 30,000 and this deficiency has to be met by X. So we will deduct 30,000 out of X that is less to Y 30,000. The amount that would be actually given to X would be 2,50,000. Then add from X 30,000 and this amount would be 1,50,000. So the total comes to 4 lakh and the guaranteed amount to Y has been fulfilled. 